final Monday of January and a showdown tonight inside Hilton Coliseum. Two teams playing similar hands and trying to find their way in an absolutely loaded Big 12. The having to do a lot more. You know, the, the biggest asset that Cade Cunningham gives you is he makes other players better. And without Rasheer Bolton having a ball in his hands, that's another option. Throw it to Conant on the block and look at this. It's a turnover, it's Tyler Harris the whole way, and who would have predicted this? The Cyclones jump out to a 6-2 lead. This is Bolton with five on the shot clock. Long three by Rashir Bolton. The basketball, he is so shifty and crafty. And a turnover, and it's Harris the other way. What a start by Iowa State. Harris misfires, and here come the Cowboys looking to push in transition. Bucket and a foul will count for Bryce Williams. Numbers again. Williams again to the cup. Wild effort, and it's Bolton who snatches the rebound. Three by Walker goes down. Jaden Walker, a three. Look far to, to see why a coach is good. You just look at his lineage. I mean, he played for Eddie, Eddie Fogler and Dave Odom. He's worked with Brad Underwood, Frank Martin, Mike Young. There's an open three, and it goes down for Rondell Walker, who's had the hot hand in this first half. He's got eight points. I mean, that, that's kind of been the trend across college basketball this year, and it's been talked about, but as likely as an opportunity to finish the three-point play. Darlin Stone Dubar in the game for the first time. Here's Tyler Harris stepping back and connecting on the three. That philosophy, and they are living right now. In a big way, and as are the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Walker hits another three. It's something of a wake-up call, too, for Oak State. Maybe, hey, look, they're shorthanded. We're going to come out and dominate. That wasn't the case early on, but efforts like Matthew Alexander Moncrief in this one have fueled this 10-point advantage. Dubar goes to work. Good defense by Caleb Boone. Boy, they are really pounding it inside as Boone is able to finish. Come to him. He uses his voice to con the defense and, and then a nice little back screen and a cut to the basket. Pretty good one ourselves and Jalen Suggs. How do you compare Cade Cunningham and Jalen Suggs at the next level? Blue to 15. Yeah, I mean, just to finish the thought on Suggs and Gonzaga, I mean, it's quite possible as the three goes down by Harris in transition. And back the other way come the Cowboys. They've been so good in transition. The cutting. Moncrief nearly threw it down. Back we go with Bolton, a basket and a foul. And just like that, the Cyclones have a chance to cut this lead to single digits. Lightly probing, gives it up. Three by Rondell, Walker goes down, and a big time three by the freshman. Putting him in there as some charity, like, we think he's a good player, and we're putting him in there for him to give us valuable minutes. Quick trigger by Rondell Walker, and he rattles home another one. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Here's Jaden Walker. Harris, a long three goes down, and Oklahoma State pulls back to within eight. Battered away by Walker on cue. Rondell Walker throws it down, and the lead is back up to 12. The double team forces the turnover, and here come the Cowboys again. Alley-oop. Good-looking feed from Boone to Moncrief, and it's up to 20 by Keelan Boone. Steps back, launches the three, and it's short. In transition, why not one more time for Matthew Alexander Moncrief. He will improve to 6-1 and one on the road here in the 2021 campaign. One more time, a dominant effort by the freshman. 81 to 60.